Good morning, Sagittarius. I hope that all is well with you. And if not, just say all is well and all will be well, Sag. <laughs> okay. So these are the messages that you need to see today. It may not be necessarily happening today, but these are the energies that called to be shown up. My Sagittarius friends, if you're looking for personals, Please check out the link in the description and just, you know, a heads up, today is Thursday, which is usually the day I go live for an energy check-in. Um, we'll see. Like, the weather's a little hinky, but 2 p.m. would be the time in which to look for that, my friends. So, hopefully I will see you there and... And I don't do a collective reading in my live. Basically, what I do is I we have a little chit-chat, talk about things, and I will, you know, pull a card of my choosing <laughs> for people who show up and would like to know. So, Sagittarius, we're also something new I'm doing in this reading is the mystery card. I don't even look at it myself, Saj. Okay, so it's all about the mystery. It just got cold all of a sudden. It's really weird. <clears throat> it's been so hot. I, I've hardly been able to sleep. So let's get on with it. So the energy that's guiding you today is, I love it, miracles. It's 3-3. Three, three. So, you know, when we, you may run into 333, three, three, and usually for me, that angel number is just kind of an alert that you're being supported. And really, um, I mean, if you do start to see it in any angel numbers, you have to like check in, like, where's my mind at right now? What is it that thing I'm thinking about that I'm getting this message for? Because it's, it's not random. I mean, I, I think people like to think it is. But it's not. So, you know, maybe you're thinking about things to come or things, you know, this is, this is the energy of anything is possible. So, just saying. <laughs> you know, uh, there's a, a behind the scenes energy that's a little interesting here, Sag. And it came through very specifically for me. Um, and this would be, I feel like this is outside of you, but still involving you. It has to do with someone you know, probably a friend, okay? Because friendship is here. And what's interesting is the threes, okay? We see third wheel, and then we see friendship. The, the card starting starting off is um, robbery, y'all. And sweetheart, I feel like you, there's something that you've known about someone. So say, here, here can be the situation for this. You have a friend, a family member, someone you know, who has really been sticking it out with a person, right? really been sticking it out with a person, but you knew that they weren't good, okay? You may have even, like, really suspected that they were going outside of the relationship. And, but this person really seemed determined to stick in it. Maybe there wasn't exact evidence, but I feel like you're getting it. And it feels as if, you know... Something you thought about someone is coming true. Uh, I don't really see you doing anything here. Um, but what's interesting is that you... I don't know, even you might have, like, said something about someone. Like, maybe you just uh, said, I don't know, there's something about them. I just don't, I just don't trust this person. Right? There, you knew something was up with this person. I think that, um, 
I think whoever it was, who this person is, they didn't really uh, believe you. I don't know if it's that they didn't believe you because they just seemed really determined to stick things out. But something is happening. It's kind of like what you thought it's either coming out or coming true or whatever, which is interesting. And it's like yeah, fortune telling. I just feel like you believe that you knew something about this person was off. You knew they weren't good. And then mm, it comes true. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what it is that you do about that. Probably nothing except that uh, you know you were right about that person. You were right. Now, the people affecting your day is interesting. Um, civil servant. Coach. So, if you have been dealing with something... Um, Something official, um, it, whether this is you starting a business or or something. It's like something official. I don't know what it is exactly, but there's someone here who's helping you. They could be, since their administration, it, it could be something, you know, kind of like bureaucracy. You're being helped out in that. You know how, like, when you, um, it could be licensing or legal details or something like that, because lawyer is here, like, you're just being advised on what you need to do regarding something. You know, and then we have lover, which is interesting. I do feel as if there is romance in the air, Sag. For some of you, I do. Sorry. <laughs> but, you know, later today, we this is Jupiter. So I will also do a reading that's Jupiter-themed about something that is growing, opportunities coming in. Because we are really, we are in the last uh, bit of, of Jupiter and Taurus. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Let's get into it, Saj. What kind of day is it going to be? Um, I mean, I, th I feel like this is an energy that Sagittarius has been in. Like, the Two of Wands is here. Uh, so, you know, if this is general for you, this is just you th reflecting on, you know, where you need to go next, what you're, you know, what's next. Because it, it kind of feels to me like um, Nine of Wands, you know, things have been, I mean, they could have been challenging, to be honest, maybe really busy. And it feels as if, like, the busyness is letting up and it just has you thinking about life. Um, if this is about love or specific situations, I am seeing something that involves a choice. So take it as it resonates for you. You know, because I do, I do feel like for some, there's an opportunity coming. You know, uh, you're finding out about an opportunity and I, I don't, it, you could be finding out about someone's interest because I kept Asking about the Knight of Cups, right? Because the truth is the Knight of Cups can be like a dream going towards something that you feel that you really want, right? It really could. And, you know, maybe even the sense of something that's working out because you're getting a missing piece of the puzzle here. But it really feels like someone um, is expressing interest in you, Sagittarius. And I don't know that you're taking it all that seriously because they show up as the knight, a knight in a page, right? But they are serious. The Hierophant is here. You know, if this is like a dream for you, something you've been pursuing, 
it really is, and I know, it's like, is this intuitive? Well, there's millions of people on YouTube. <laughs> so, definitely, it is about, I don't think you're unhappy about it, you know, at all. You know, the Hierophant is getting the right information. It's definitely about learning, and it does feel as if you learn that someone is interested in you. You know? Word that something is finally working out. So, I mean, let's get another impression <laughs> about this Knight of Cups. What, e what exactly is the Knight of Cups? The Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups for Sagittarius. It's a new beginning. And if you look at this card, it's something is coming together. Now the Five of Cups is kind of sideways, so it comes at a really good time for you the fool the emperor and the lovers so I do I do kind of feel like this is about love you know but of course like you're gonna have to make a decision and here we are back at, at the two of wands right and I feel for some of you this is a decision between someone new and someone from the past. I know, it's like a familiar story, right, Saj? It's a familiar story, especially, you know, online or here on YouTube. But with the Eight of Cups reverse, the Two of Swords and Temperance, it's like trying to make a decision whether you continue to hold out hope for something from the past or take a leap with someone who is is kind of in pursuit or they're letting you know that they're interested and that they're serious and you know two of wands again I mean that's the challenge it could be really that you're having a hard time Letting go of that hope for the past. Tell me about that. Five of Cups. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And the Two of Wands again. Yeah. Because it's, it's interesting. Well, in this deck, the five, all of the Five of Cups are turned up. But four, but, you know, three of them, four of them are empty. It's really interesting the way that this card will show six cups, actually. So it's definitely about holding on to something. And so you're being called to, that this is harder for you. Because I feel like you feel, if you um, pay attention to this new person then that means that you have to stop holding space for the past you know and I I don't know what to say about that side only you can decide that right I know like when there's more than one person sometimes people will ask well which one am I supposed to go to well you have free will you know but it really boils down to it's very hard to like go towards something new if you're still holding space for someone else. Well, let's see if there's any other messages that Sagittarius needs to know. And then we will look at the mystery cards. <laughs> you have anything else to tell Sagittarius? 
anything else to tell Sagittarius? So in the extended, you know, I will look at this past situation to see if it's worth it for you to hold space and the new situation. Yeah. Sagittarius, anything else for Sag? Anything else for Sagittarius? I don't know. It's like... <gasps> Ooh, something is bearing fruit, Sag. Seven of Pentacles with the Four of Pentacles. This could be money that you've been waiting on or something you've been waiting to kind of grow is, is growing. And it kind of feels like now you're in the position to, to do something. The fool being here. Yeah, this feels like a new possibility, but it's like... Um, I feel like you're trying to decide whether or not to push forward with it. Because there is still some risk involved. Wow, okay. So let's look at the mystery cards. Yep. Hmm. Interesting. Tell me about false person. False person. Distant horizons. Feels like someone here is not doing as well as they're claiming to, especially if they're horizons this is a man I feel like they're just not and they may be telling you that they're fine, that they're doing well, that everything's going great. <laughs> that, you know, their job is going great. They don't like, because what this is talking about is that this person doesn't hold the position they're claiming to hold. Matter of fact, far from it. They're going through a, a really hard time. And with community reverse and main mail, they may, I don't, I don't think this person is homeless, but they're going through something tough with a child. Interesting. Wowza. <laughs>
I feel like this person just does not really want you to know that they're doing badly. Yeah, it's like they don't want your concern. It, they may be struggling financially. Yeah, but this is someone who says it, like the exact opposite. Wow. Okay. Hmm. That's interesting, Sagittarius. So let's get your mantra for the day. Sagittarius's mantra for the day. Sagittarius's mantra for the day, please. Wow, a lot. I see grace and possibility in all of life's challenges. <laughs> okay. All that I need is coming to me in ways I could never have imagined. Really matches up with what you're feeling. I communicate with ease and grace. People are willing to embrace what I have to say. Sagittarius. So that was all the things, Sag. That was all the things. So if you want to new, know new information or more information... Check out the extended. If not, I hope you have the best day ever, Toodles.